Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to No Man's Land. We've got a lot going on at the moment. We currently have 232,000 in the bank account. I've already purchased the land that I wanted, plot number 33. We're going to have a lot going on today. So at the moment I'm just loading up the lettuce into the trailer. The did the grass field last month as we're into April now. Uh, what else have we done? Uh, the chickens, the eggs and the chickens are coming along nicely. Harvested the first soybean field and I've cultivated it. The wheat field isn't ready yet. Um, this one is needing harvested now. Managed to get a hold of a trailer in the discount store. It's not a big one, 15,000 liters. So it's not huge, but it'll do the job. Uh, still on loan with the baler and a couple of other bits. And in the fermenting silo, we have currently 83,000 litres of silage to be sold. Now, I made most of the money through the selling silage because I had over 300,000 litres of it. And also sold the first um, trailer off the soybeans. So, the harvester's on, low, on rent as well, so... What we are going to do is get a headland done on this field. And then hopefully we can leave the worker to it. I'm still in two minds on what I want to do with this section behind me here. Uh, actually easier to, on this kind of section here. I don't know whether I want to extend this field or not yet, or if I might want to maybe put some farmyard stuff there, sheds and stuff. I was going to make the grass field there shorter, but I kind of went against that idea. So I'll probably change that from grass to something else because the big grass field is going to be going up on field 33. So we shall fire away and get a headland done on here. And then hopefully we can leave the worker to it. I am using the um, tool height adapter for the harvesters. I'm only currently using it on this one at the moment because it's only going it only goes 12 mile an hour with the, the bigger ones the bigger combines and stuff I'll probably just keep it as the standard header just I want to do it just now just so I can get us going get the ball rolling so to speak so how is everybody doing today? Hope you're all well. So I wasn't actually sure if these uh, fields were ever going to be ready. But here we are. Got the lettuce to sell from the greenhouses. I may just sell the eggs afterwards. And then what we are going to do is we are going to go up to field plot number 33. Which I've already started doing um, road work on. So we can just need to keep a check, keep an eye on the the old worker, make sure that he's going to do his job. I'm not sure which way the worker will go, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We shall just do that and then do that and let him go. Perfect. Right, so... 
go and see what's selling the lettuce is selling for at the moment. Do, do, do. Let's have a look here. At the farm shop. Supermarket 3038. So we might as well just grab that while we can. As quickly as we can. I was going to try and add another sell point down there for grains because currently the only one I have is the farm shop up there. So I might need to try and design something else down here. Maybe put another, another sell point in beside the... Uh, farmer's market. And the heating plant. Not really s started selling anything to the heating plant yet. Um, well, I sold, cut some of the trees down, but that's pretty much about it. Right, supermarket. Now, I've got to make sure I've got the trailer on. Oh, oh dear. Hold on. Let's get the trigger for it. There we go. And we got 24,300 for that. That's perfect. Awesome, awesome. Now we'll go back and get... The good old eggs from the farm. I think I kind of plotted out what I want to try and do because I'm wanting to move the chickens. The chickens need to go because I want to use that plot there for more farmyard sheds and, and stuff. I need to get a silo as well. So once we do start getting everything rolling efficiently, then I'm going to need a silo. I can't keep hauling everything to the shops and that, uh, the sell points all the time. So it would be handy to have it in reserve as well. As I say, the, the chickens and stuff will be fed primarily from the grains I get from the harvests. So, and the cows will be fed the same way. Oh, come on. There you go. You get these loaded up and then we'll get them sold. And that will give us some more money to play with. So I've got an idea of the the chicken coops that I want to get, and the obviously the cow barn, which I'm I know I'm definitely going to be getting. So we're going to go with the cow barn just now, and then hopefully all else works out. We'll get the chickens, but I want to make sure I've got enough feed for them all. Right, egg. Do, do, do. Eggs, eggs. There they are. They are selling currently at the supermarket. 2593. Right, let's go. No, workers doing okay, I think. Do we get a f almost full tank soon? It's only eight liters it holds. So definitely going to need some sort of uh, silo, as I said earlier, especially maybe at the, f the animal area. The main one for all the crops, apart from uh, maybe 
wheat, so or barley and oat. Uh, but I'll work that out anyway. And I'm thinking just a small one. It's enough to we'll find out how much each each of the pens hold. So right, let's go and see what we get out of this. Twenty-one thousand eight hundred and seven. That is perfect. Oh, am I going to be able to turn? Right. I think we shall go and check the harvester. Make sure he's doing okay. To plot number thirty-three, and we shall get going with placing different bits and pieces. Now there are a couple of trees in the way that but I'm not too worried. Got anything to feed the cows anyway at the moment, so I'm sorry if the audio just went a bit lapsed there. It seems to be the the jack in my headphones seems to be a bit loose. So hopefully the audio is still coming through. Right, we shall put this here. Okay, it seems to be doing all right. Not missing too much, but I mean, it isn't just straightforward fields anyway, so. get in there and uh, open doop 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 stop stop no, stop 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 Cue. hey stop oh dear okay I said that the workers are doing okay but they're not stop right I'm gonna have to stop myself stop It's just ridiculous. Right, get this loaded in. I'll fix around the the island area myself. So I'm good. I might put him on that edge over there. Maybe you can try and finish that bit off, and I can finish this bit off here. Too worried. I'll move that trailer out of the way and then Right. So I don't actually know what I want to do in this area and I still haven't figured out what I want to do up at that wooded area. Right, let's go. See if he'll do that. And I still have that lonely bale over there. I really need to get rid of that bale. Right, perfect. Off we go to plot number 33. But the wheat should be ready next month, I hope. But, yeah... I was wanting to extend that field out to here, but we'll see how that goes. So, as you can see, be a turning point here. As you can see here, I've done a bit of the road, which is here, and it kind of just goes all the way around. So I was thinking of putting a silo in here. That'd be quite a good idea to do. But for now, what we're going to do is we are going to put the cow barn down. Because I have been dying to get this cow barn. We are now there able to get the cow barn. So let's find this cow barn, which is this one. Now my idea is to put it sort of here. 
it back a wee bit where those trees are, but not right on the tree so I can't cut them sort of thing. So I'm thinking about there. And that's 115 smackeroonies. I know it's only 230 cows, but... Perfect. So we've got 164,000. Should give us enough money to start. Just in the way. These trees at the back are not so much of a worry. This one, probably not too much. I don't have a manure pit, so I'm going to have to put a manure pit down. That's definitely one thing I'll have to get put down. If I can find them in your pits. Old silos. 160,000 litres. Package dryer. Right, let's have a look here. That one would be fine. I could actually, if I was, oh no, it doesn't sit right. Oh, that annoys me, that one does. That annoys me when that happens. Oh dear, and these ones here are far too big. Look at the size of these. And they don't, ah. Oh. So that's just going to look, it's not going to look too bad, should, right, okay then, let's go back to that one there then, why do they design it like that? Never understood that. Hey, dee 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 dee. Aha. There we go, that'll do. That should hopefully fill up from there. As we'll soon find out. Well, we'll find out soon enough anyway. So that's that, 149,000. Now, I won't be placing them down just yet, but the chicken ones I'm looking at are these ones. Is it these ones? Yeah, these ones. I was going to put down four of these. That would have been 60 grand, which we could afford. Uh, I was planning putting them across here. Maybe a bit further. Further up. Put them across here. But four of them, which would be quite good. I mean, that is 60 grand, so right. So now it's a case of landscaping this area. So, what we're going to do is we're going to paint. We don't really need to go in this door, as far as I'm led to believe. As far as I'm led to believe, it's should be no reason to go in here. No, because it's just for buying the cows, so it's really this one at the back, right? Okay. But we'll put it right down past that door anyway, I think. But as I say, it's not really a necessity. Alright, let's get myself out of the way. Landscaping, painting, asphalt. Right. As I say, I'm not too overly worried about how it looks at the moment. But what I'm wanting to do is just do a rough idea. So we could sort of come out here and then come around here and then sort of like that to that door but this is all going to be asphalt so probably leave that little bit of grass there like that I'm not wanting 
to be a perfectionist or anything, so I'm just going to do it as as I see fit. patches of grass texture there because it kind of just adds to adds to it I'm just thinking maybe just to get rid of that actually careful on how much I'm spending here to do this. So I'm not buying the chickens and that just now anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. About how much it's going to cost. But still, I digress. Perfect. Okay. So maybe we can leave this tree here. Maybe just leave it as is. Probably actually just expand that bit there at the door, I think. A bit of a better turning ratio in there. Perfect. Perfect. You could leave the grass in front of it, I think. And then coming. Oh, no, it's done it again. Why is it overlapped? No, I'm going to have to leave that bit as is. I can't even get rid of that tree, can I? Oh, dear. Oh. Right, well, I'm going to have to maybe try and go in that way and out the other way. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. So, right. Let's see if we can get maybe... Texturing going on. Here. And let's see what else. Gone a bit quiet there, didn't I? Wonder if it's going to look a bit weird if I put grass bits in there. I think it's going to look a bit hideous in it. And you know what? It's not going to matter. It just is what it is. It is my design after all, I suppose. <laughs> right. Uh, 
don't know if we oh we could put some wet the ah wrong one we could put the puddles in where's the puddles puddle puddle like the puddles because it's the uh, milk area I think if I remember rightly cool right I think that'll do that actually Perfect. So we'll see once we get the cows in if the manure actually works. But what I want to do is get the. Oh, that reminds me as well. I forgot the production. The, the dryer. The grass dryer. Where are you? Where are you, grass dryer? Is it? And I know I've got it on here, but I, I keep, I must keep forgetting to activate it. Yeah, I'm obviously forgetting to activate it because I mean, oh, unless it's in factory, unless it's in, yeah, it should be in factories. Well, never mind. I think I think we're quite happy with that. Well, I think I'm happy with that anyway. That's a good start. The cows are in. Well, the cow barn's in. Just got to get cows in now. Get the these trees out of the way. Get this all mowed up. Turned into hay. Next time you're around, I should have the the production for the hay here on the dryer and perhaps hopefully have a silo here as well right let's go and see what is happening with this fella right let's go and finish this field we'll finish this field and then i think that'll be it for this one Of course, don't forget, guys, your, your opinions count as well. So if you have an opinion on anything, don't don't hesitate to write it in the comments section below. As I say, I like to get constructive criticism, so I like to read those comments. So if you have something in mind that would be well worth trying out, then by all means, please put it in the in the comments section below. Yeah, totally excited now. We've got the cows, or the cow barn. I keep saying the cows, but it's the cow barn. So hopefully I'll have cows in there very soon. So I don't want to run too low on money because I'd like to pay the loan off as well. Or pay, well, start paying the loan off anyway. chickens will get moved as well so maybe by that point the chickens will be over there too so it'll be the whole I'm, I'm not wanting to do sheep I just want to do cows and chickens I'm quite happy with that eggs and milk can't go wrong perfect right that's that done let's get this into this trailer and as I say I'd rather get a silo over here somewhere for this too Get a small one for the chicken feed. Oh, you can see the cow barn from here. Wow, that's huge. Right, that's perfect. So I'm not really needing the, the harvester at the moment. I will need it next month. So I'll just have to pay the, the fee for that. I get this all cultivated as well. So I think we're going to leave it there, guys. So if you liked what you've seen in the video please uh, hit the like button it doesn't cost anything and it helps with the algorithm uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and share with all your friends and family so hopefully next one this area will be full of chickens and there'll be cows in that barn
But until then, have a lovely day and bye for now.